Hey, welcome to UK Wildcraft. So this is one of my favourite times of the year for foraging and that's because one of my absolute favourite wild edibles is just starting to come up and that is common hogweed or Heraclium spondylium. And this time of year, the main thing that we're after are the young shoots. Now these are really, really good wild edible. They've got like a mild sort of cardamom flavour and uh, texture of like asparagus and I really really like them. At this time of year I eat them pretty much every meal. And you want to make sure they've got like a really fine hairs all along them, all along the, the leaves and the stem. It's almost like a downy fur. And you really want these shoots before the leaves are starting to open up. You see like this, where they're still closed? That's when they're at their best. The older leaves, as they start to open up, they don't taste so good anymore. You can still eat them, but they're not very good. And you want to make sure that these leaves, that you can ID the difference between these and giant hogweed, because you can't eat giant hogweed. With giant hogweed, it grows a lot bigger. And even when it's younger, you still can't really mistake it for this. The, the leaves are a lot more pointed. The stems have like Instead of having a downy fur like this, they'll have uh, the hairs look more like spines, and it'll often have like a red flecking on it, like as if someone's got red paint and just flicked it all over the stem. So make sure you know the difference between giant hogweed and the edible common hogweed. So common hogweed you'll find growing in grasslands like this, and on on the side of pretty much every roadside in Britain has common ho hogweed alongside it. Giant hogweed usually prefers to grow alongside running water, but that doesn't mean to say it always does. So what we're after are the, the shoots like this. And they'll usually start to come up in uh, January, if you, find, if you know where to look. Uh, from February onwards through to summer, you'll be finding them all over the place. And, yeah, that's a nice one there. That on there is about perfect. You see that there? All the, the leaves still closed up. Nice thick stem to it. That'd be a good one. So those are the sort of ones you want. So you'll find these all over the place. These are the dead uh, hogweed plants from last year and the the dead stems make a really good fire lighter and if you follow the plants down to the base you'll find the fresh growth from this year so that's a good way of finding new growth and these plants are annual but occasionally they're biannual as well so even though we're in january you can find plants that are actually in flower like this one here and this bit here this is the unopened flower and it's very similar to broccoli and you can eat this as well one other use for the plant you normally find them in summer but these are the seeds and if you pick them while they're still green you can use them in in cooking for like curries and they taste just like cardamom So here's the common hogweed, got the, the young shoots there, the unopened flowers like the broccoli florets and the seeds. And the best way to cook the, the shoots is to uh, blanch them just to soften them up a bit. So I've got some water boiling, just a little bit, you don't want too much, just so you can steam it. So I'll grab some of the shoots. Chuck them in the pan <clears throat> and then put the lid on and you want to cook those just for three or four minutes just to soften them up. So while you're steaming the shoots get a pan on the heat, get it nice and hot and then when you've drained the hogwood shoots from the water just put a knob of butter into the pan and get your shoots into that hot butter. Thank you. 
give them another couple of minutes in there and then season it with salt and pepper and they're good to serve. Alright, and that's the cooked hogweed shoots there. And they can go as a good side to pretty much any dish. And as well as these uh, hogweed shoots, I also found a load of young Alexander shoots. And uh, you can treat them pretty much as spinach. They, they wilt down quite nicely into dishes. So this time of year, I'm not really uh, buying any greens from the supermarket. I'm just going down to my woods or uh, local forest, picking it for myself.